how important and how healthy was it for the team to get past the losing streak, to get back on the winning track, and honestly, to look like your, you guys and like yourselves again for the first time in a little while? It's always good to win, especially at home. Uh, we made a, a, a few tweaks and got back to being who we are, guarding somebody, playing in the open floor, making shots, sharing the ball with one another. And um, that's um, the way that we want to look, and that's the way we want to play. Jimmy, um, you did a lot of damage off the ball tonight in addition to, to on the ball. How much does sort of your cutting, you think, open up the offense for the rest of the team? Uh, a little bit. Everybody's capable of doing it. You know, Bam rolling to the basket, Tyler getting into the paint, Kyle down there on the baseline, Tuck down there cutting, setting screens. Um, I kind of just follow suit, get in where I fit in for the most part, and I think everybody does the, the same thing. You know, you take the shots that the game gives you and you pass it to get somebody open. Um, we did a great job of that. Spo mentioned that some of the tweaks made to the rotation were done to maximize the strengths of some of the team's best players. What, what do you think the small tweaks that were made today maybe did for you and Bam and, and Kyle and Tyler? A, a lot. Um, it corrects a lot of our spacing. Um, it lets everybody know where the ball has to go and where everybody's supposed to be at on the floor. And it just made everybody so much more comfortable just because um, everybody knew where they were gonna be, where the ball was gonna go, so there was no questions that needed to be asked. Um, was out there just, you know, playing hard, playing together. And it looked good because we were back to having fun. But like I always say, winning is the fun part. Uh, speaking of fun, Tyler looked like he was having fun with you when you were getting hot from downtown. Uh, how much were you feeling today from the three-point line? Uh, I was all right. I think, um, you know, everybody's on my tail about all the time, shoot more threes. Um, who knows? Might be coming soon. But uh, they're, they're looking for me. Um, Kyle, T, hell, even PJ. So I feel like as long as everybody's moving the ball, a lot of the times I'm on the receiving end and the fact that I'm the one that's open. Uh, last week, Kyle uh, showed that you got him a nice gift for his birthday on Instagram. Uh, what did you get Max Drews for his birthday? I forgot to bring it, but I'm not going to tell him. I'll give it to him tomorrow on the plane or something. He's been bugging me about it for a couple of years now, so I got him a little something. Max and Duncan can both do a lot of the similar things that can run similar actions. So with Max in the starting lineup, does it look, does it operate very differently offensively for you guys? Not really. We we play the exact same. They both got the same role. Um, you know, I, I think Duncan still has to stay ready. Uh, stay ready because you never know the way that this league and the way that we play. It could be any given night that it's it's you again. Um, but that's the best part about this team. Like nobody takes anything personal. Everybody's in it to win it. Um, and it's it's tough. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna say that. It's an easy thing to go through and an easy thing to handle it, but uh, he's been handling it like a pro. So um, we're in his corner and we're going to need him. Yeah, you mentioned you guys having some more space to operate and everything. Um, with Tyler, how much do you guys just trust in him and his ability to create and play make for others as he's continuing sort of growing on the fly here? Uh, we um, trust in him a lot. Obviously he has the ball a lot of the times. And when somebody does have the ball that much, you trust in him to take the right shots, which he does, and get everybody involved, which he does. But he's grown since he's came into the league. Uh, he's going to continue to do that, and we need him to be that um, going forward in the playoffs and uh, as we make this run. We're going to go via Zoom to Cassidy with ESPN. Hey, Jimmy. Um... So Duncan, you know, just said that he he thought last week's, you know, disagreement was a big thing because you all have to figure it out and it's an important time to do that. You know, as you said, winning is fun. You learn from wins, you learn from losses. But do you believe it was an important situation for this team to go through? I think so. Uh, I think we got comfortable a little bit expecting that we're going to win night in and night out. Everything's not going to be all good. Everything's not going to be all bad. We understand that. I just think at the end of the day, we got to be in it together, which we are, and we're going to continue to be that way. Win, loss, things happen. We understand that as well, and uh, we move on from it like we have, and uh, we got one. So let's get back to stacking wins. 
Well, what does it feel like to you when this team is playing to its potential? I feel like that we put together this roster to win a championship. It feels like a championship caliber team. It does. Uh, we have lapses at times. Uh, we got a couple more days, games to figure that all out. But when we're clicking, when we're guarding, when we're making shots, when we're sharing the ball, then we're going to be really tough to beat. Thanks, Jamie. All right.